Hey, what's good, everybody? My name's Kim. And up, oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm good. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to introduce you. So. so welcome back. This is another interview. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And here I have my special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, man? How you guys doing, man? It's James Wilder Jr. right here from Tampa Bay. Get Wilder or go home. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. He just um he just had um, a stellar performance um at this um show, which um I came a little bit late, but um I'm not gonna tell you how late. So you ain't gotta know about that. But still, bro, 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 be real. You missed the whole damn show, man. Be honest with yourself for once. What's well, so up? Welcome to like welcome and thank you for taking the time out to talk with me. All right. No, no, I appreciate you having me, man. This is gonna, this is gonna be a fun one. All right, yeah. Cool. So um you know for those who don't know, you know, tell a little bit about yourself. Yeah, man, like I said, I'm from um, right here from Tampa, Florida. Uh, the Wilder, I'm James Wilder Jr. Jr. because James Wilder is my father. He's uh, he's in the Hall of Fame and he's in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He holds all the running back records there. Uh, he came into Tampa in 1980. So I'm not, um, I'm second generation Wilder. Uh, I play football myself, did a couple years in the NFL. Um, I'm in the CFL now in year nine. Oh, wow, man, that's incredible. Yeah, so so wait, you said your your dad when you say your dad came to Tampa in nineteen eighty, was it this was it the city or is it the team? Um, it was the city and the team. So my dad was drafted in the second round uh of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, James Wilder Sr. in nineteen eighty. And um he stayed here since then and um he had me in nineteen eighty two. I'm the youngest of four. And um, my sister, she played professional football, Courtney Wilder in the LFL. Uh, my brother, he he got a year training camp with Tampa Bay Buccaneers and I got four years in the in the league as well and I have uh three sons <laughs> that plays football so hopefully we can keep it going sorry pause 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 it's editor Kim once again so this was a mistake on both of our parts he mentioned his father came to Tampa in 1980 thus Junior prompted to say he was born in 82 by mistake and bringing up his real age of 30. It's been years since I took a math class but I believe Wikipedia has the correct answer. But regardless when I said he looked good for his age my mind was still at 1982 which made me think 40 something. But don't get me fucked up he looks great for 30 also no cap. Okay talk long enough back to the interview. Oh man that's really incredible man 1982 man I just gotta say for real you don't even look at you. You look like you at least born like 92 or something oh wow i did not even notice that i brought up 92 well okay i guess i did something good okay cool yeah yeah no yeah like i said man 30 is not that bad uh i feel like i'm getting old man 30 feel like it's getting old when you're playing football uh 30 years old is like 35 years old with football years as a running back so um like i said i'm year nine man i'm still living out my dream and um i'm here in tampa to try to give back and network with the city and, and bring everybody out of the city up all right, man, that's cool. So, um, what, uh, so what's what's a lot of stuff that you do to um, give back to the city? Oh man, since I got back, I've been back here for about a month now, and uh, I've already thrown a camp, a football camp at Skyway Field. We had 130 kids. Uh, we sold it out. Um, it was like I said, just like this party. I've always just kind of get bored and just say, hey, let's do it and connect with the people. So it was last minute when I threw that camp. I had three weeks to worth work with, and we had 130 kids in um in three weeks. And today, um. Um, like I said, my wife just signed here being Wilder Property Management on January 1st. And here we are. We're throwing this party here. We just announced it last minute. And you've seen all the stars that came out. It, it worked out pretty good. So it felt good to be able to go to Canada since 2017 and come back and see that the city real still, you know, mess with us like that. And it still pops out on the, on the, on the, um, on the face card. Yeah, man, that's that's really incredible, man. I'm just getting goosebumps. You just some, um, I just love hearing people give back to the community, and also, um, you know, you mentioned you you being a husband and father yourself, because we, because you know, we, it's it's more common than like than like anything that um anything that people want to believe, you know, because um you're doing all like you're doing all that you're doing, you're um, keeping keeping up with the legacy, and I mean that's really incredible for what you do. So, how do you find the time to um you know unwind um as well with all this um like with all this hectic next going on? Man, like I said, man, it, it is tough. That's a great question, too. And like a father of five and, and being a husband as well, you got to find those times to have that intimacy with your wife. And you also have to time if you're a businessman and you're working towards financial freedom, you have to have that that intimacy and that love time for your, your children, too, as well. 
outside of football, just intimacy time with the family. You know what I'm saying? So it can get pretty tough, man, but you have to make it work. Like I said, it's only 24 hours and that's what you got to work with. Um, I know in the mornings what helps me, me and my wife, we wake up in the morning before we wake up our kids at 6.30 and we either go on a walk or we wake up and we just do like a just little intimacy hour and that'll be like, like 5.45 to 6.30. We wake up the kids at 6.30, we get them going on to school and then we have between 8 and 2, you know, to work. Um, and then we have between 2 and 5 for intimacy time for ourselves and then 6 o'clock is back for the kids and practice until 8. So it's just a good balance. It's, it's a good way to be able to find that balance. And like I said, me growing up, uh, being around it, my mom and my dad, just knowing how it goes. Uh, my father retired in 1989, 90. I was born in 92. So I wasn't born while he was playing, but just still having that same structure of how it goes is kind of the same structure that I gave my family. Okay, this is the last time I'm pausing the video. I just want to say that even he also um, realized a mistake earlier on that we both made. So, you know, I'm just saying, we can correct our own goofs right there. And that's cool. All right, back to the video. All right, man, that's that's what's up. I mean, like a schedule and routine, man. But but still, I mean, it's, it's very structured, but at the same time, it does sound it, it does sound relaxing at the same time, you know, so. It is. No, no, I mean, not to cut you off, it really is, man. Like I say, you know, you, you hear wake up at 545 and you're like, damn, what? But you'll be very surprised, you know, waking up at that time. And I honestly got that from the Mamba mentality, man. I watched, the, I was watching that Kobe and stuff and him waking up at five. Y'all follow my uh, Instagram and Twitter. You'll see I'm usually running or doing something by 530. That extra hour, that extra two hours in the morning is, is key. But something that I found out to do that works for me with us having children is that's the intimacy, um, intimacy time with my family. I don't mean sex, but just waking up with my wife, getting that hour and a half before you hear what daddy knocking on the door and a lot of stuff going on it's important and that's what works for me because like i said with me my wife has been somebody that i've been with since middle school since i was 14 years old so her always you know that she's just been my comforter and kind of keeping me going so i need to make sure you have that balance to keep her keep her same as, as the same as the kids because these kids are telling me that hey daddy i want to be just like you i want to be a pro athlete so at the same time you have to give them the structure to be able to show them what it takes to be a pro athlete yeah, man, that's good. Like, nothing's better than being an inspiration to your kids. Yeah, and also, never apologize for cutting me off. This is your interview time, all right? I'm just, I'm just here asking you the questions. That's all. Yeah, man. So, um, uh, so if it was so, with anything else before we um, like before we cut our time short, I mean, is there a, is is there any other stuff you want to like want to bring up or talk about or have anything coming up? Yeah, no, for sure. Like I said, man, um, I have my business here. I've been in Canada since 2017. I am here from Tampa. I take a lot of pride in Tampa. So, y'all hit me up, man. Y'all follow my Instagram. I am underscore Wilder32. Please DM me if y'all want to do business and y'all don't got Instagram. Uh, James Wilder Jr. at iCloud.com. Please, please Instagram me or follow me or shoot me the DM what it is. Um, I'm a big believer in your network is your network. And I'm always open to network with whoever, along with my wife, Bianca Wilder at iCloud.com, being Wilder uh, Property Management. We're all open for networks. Um, we have good network here in Tampa and, and we want to see Tampa win. That's right, Tampa win. Tampa will always win. All right, thank you for your time, Mr. Wilder. Oh, appreciate you, baby. Thanks for having me, dog. No much, problem. Much, a lot of fun. All right, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for everyone watching, subscribe, and everything. Follow the socials all here in the bottom. You don't need me to tell you. It will be spelled out. Also, it will be spelled out here, too. So um, thank you, and peace.